This is the Comprehensive Normal Adult Physical Assessment Scale. The purpose of this scale is to demonstrate performing a complete and thorough assessment on an adult patient. The recommended PPE for this skill are gloves and eye protection. The first step in this skill is when you approach the patient, assess their appearance and their work of breathing, and then assess their level of consciousness. I'll introduce myself if they're alert. Sir, my name's Nathan, I'm a paramedic. Can you tell me your name? My name is John. So I'm assessing the patient's speech and their mood, as well as their orientation to person, place, and time. John, can you tell me where you're at today? I'm at home. And can you tell me the date? Today is the 22nd of March. So I've assessed that the patient is fully alert. I'll have additional questions to assess the patient's memory. Next, I'll assess the patient's vital signs, beginning with blood pressure. Next, I'll assess the patient's pulse, both radial and carotid if necessary. I'll assess the patient's respirations, the rate and quality of respirations, ensuring the patient has an adequate tidal volume, meaning they're breathing in and out adequate volumes of air. I would assess the patient's temperature and apply an SpO2 monitor to the patient. Next, I'll do a further assessment of the patient's skin, checking the color, temperature, and any moisture. I'll then perform a detailed head-to-toe assessment, assessing for deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, penetrations, burns, tenderness, lacerations, or swelling. Beginning with the head, I'll assess the skull, check the nose and ears for any drainage, assess the pupils, for size and reactivity to light. I'll then assess the neck, check the position of the trachea, check the condition of the jugular veins. I'll then assess the chest, observing chest wall expansion, palpating for integrity, noting any open wounds. Sir, do you have any pain when breathing? No. I'll then assess the patient's lower airway by auscultating the lungs. I'll then assess the heart and blood vessels, again palpating a radial and carotid pulse if necessary. And then I'm going to auscultate heart tones. I'll then assess the abdomen, looking for any open wounds and palpating in all four quadrants. Assessing for rigidity or tenderness, any distension. Next, I'll roll the patient on their side to assess the back, using additional help if necessary. Assessing for any deformities, open wounds, or masses. Go ahead and roll back. Then assess the stability of the pelvis. I'd expose the patient, and if indicated, assess the genitalia. For male genitalia, assess for wounds, rashes, external lesions, or drainage. For females, assess for wounds, rashes, external lesions, or drainage, and ask about any bleeding. Then assess the lower extremities. Check motor, sensory, and circulatory functions. 
going to locate an arterial pulse, so I'll palpate a pedal pulse. Ask the patient if they can move their foot. Can you feel this? Yes. Assess the other extremity. Palpating a pedal pulse. Sir, can you move your foot? Can you feel this? Yes. Assess the upper extremities. Palpating a radial pulse. Sir, can you move your hand? Can you feel this? Yes. And check the other extremity. Palpating a radial pulse. Can you move your hand? Can you feel this? Yes. Okay. After completing the head-to-toe assessment, we will then continue with patient care.